Trains are moving again on the downtown in Q and R platform after a killing here stopped them for hours yesterday. Also here following the crime, this a greater police presence currently after 40 year old Michelle Go was pushed in front of a train on this platform around 940 Saturday morning. On Sunday, now that people have returned to the location, they're saying they're aware and sorry about what happened, but have to keep writing. I just try to uh, manage, you know, manage my risk as much as possible and stay very alert and attentive while on the train. I try not to be on my phone all the time or, you know, close my eyes and take a nap. It's a little scary, but you have to be cautious of staying up on the platform. They're riding the subway, but ridership is still less than half of what it was before the pandemic began. In spite of that, according to crime statistics compiled by the same NYPD whose officers patrol these platforms, transit crimes are up 81 and a half percent between January of last year and January of this year. Again, police are very visible in the Times Square station, but some riders say it's the exception. Not that present, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah, like I'm from the Bronx, so it's like you don't really see many cops on the platform. And all of this happened just days after Mayor Eric Adams and Governor Kathy Hochul announced a new initiative to try to improve the overall safety situation on the subway. It has only been a matter of days, both saying they are very much committed to it, as well as committed to improving services for mentally challenged people. And that may very well be part of what this incident was. Reporting from the Times Square subway station, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.